Hello, hello, welcome back to the Stay Fitness channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Daniela. I'm a fitness nutrition and life coach specializing in obesity and diabetes management. So today's video, I'm on the sofa, but it's actually a cooking video. Uh, it's just lightning, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make um, pork puffs, or also called chicharrones. Uh, so I've been busy. When I see a recipe, I really uh, want to try it. Uh, I try to buy these pork puffs and stuff like that, but I just find them so salty. Uh, but also I love a challenge. I wanted to try doing it myself. Uh, so yeah, before I tell you how they taste it, let me show you how to make them. First thing you want to do is procure yourself some pork skin. I recommend getting some good quality skin, which is going to have so many good nutrients. But skin is rich in collagen, protein and all that. So uh, first thing you want to do is uh, we're going to boil the skin until it's fork tender. This might take between 20 to 30 minutes, a little bit more depending on the thickness. Um, and then you're going to, of course, take out the water and let it completely cool. Once it's cooled, then you're going to have to clean it. So depending on where you buy it, if you ask your butcher, just try and find the one that has the least fat. I think this one was made for more like crackling, so it had loads of fat, but nothing bad with that. I just, it was a bit more fiddly. I had to clean all of the fat off as much as possible. And, but I did not throw the fat away, absolutely not. I just rendered it and then I had a whole jar of lard to cook with. So, amazing. So when the skin is nice and clean, I also plucked away the hair that I could see, uh, which <laughs> honestly pushed my pantries down a little bit. I was a bit disgusted, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, once the skin was all ready, I cut into small pieces and here you have two options. Uh, I chose to dry it under the sun for three days because it's free and doesn't require, like you don't have to do anything. Or uh, if you want to speed things up, you can dry it for about eight to 10 hours at around 60 degrees in your um, um, dehydrator or if you want you can use the air fryer with a dehydrating uh, setting which is the one I use uh, you can find the link in the description below it's amazing but since it, we had a uh, heat wave in the UK I thought why not using the Sun it's free no electricity or anything and I just wanted to do the kind of the more old-fashioned way let's say so you're gonna know when your pork skins are ready, when they're rock hard, you can't bend them, they're not soft, they're like hard. If you bite in it, you need to be break to, like, you need to break your teeth, babe. That's how hard it needs to be. So once, that's basically almost all the job done. All you need to do now is just deep fry it in some fat. I actually use some uh, beef drippings. These are buy them in Waitrose. They're only one pound. And if you read the label, it's Aberdeen Angus beef, beef drippings. So really good quality. Um, I would recommend not to use any vegetable oil. They're disgusting. Um, so, and it's so like, I had so much fun deep frying the pork skin because they're like popcorn. You put them into oil and they just like kind of explode, which is so fun. Um, and then you can prepare um, some seasoning, which can be totally of your choice. It's a good thing about making them your own. You can do uh, more spicy, garlicky, like anything. I just added garlic powder, onion powder, some Aleppo pepper, which I really love, and some salt. That's it. Um, so yeah, and then you toss them really well, so the seasoning goes everywhere, and then just enjoy them. Um, so yeah, you see how to make them. Uh, it's not difficult. It can be a bit fiddly, but if you get, if you have a good butcher, you can just ask them to prepare it for you, to prepare it really well, so it's nice and clean, and then it'll be way easier. Um, the drying part again, you can do it two ways. Both are like hands off, nothing to do there. Just yeah, uh, but I have them here. And let's try it. And so, 
The only issue I had is that some of them are really crispy, crunchy, some of them are a bit chewy. I think it's because some of them had still a bit of fat left over and those get a bit chewier. Uh, but if you know the answer, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what to do differently next time. Why some of them, like, I try to cook them more or fry them less, more. I can't really put my finger on why some of them are like ultra crunchy and some of them are um, kind of chewier. I mean, I've got a crunchy one. Uh, you probably can hear how so crunchy. But the good thing is that now I have loads of um, of these pork puffs that I didn't season, so they're completely in season, so I can use them for recipes and I can then decide how much salt, how much seasoning I want to add. Because when you buy them, they're already so salty, so it makes it hard to regulate then the rest of the recipe if you add in cheese or something that is again a little bit salty. So overall, I think I spent like six UK pounds for the one kilo of skin, and it was uh, outdoor bread, really good quality skin. Uh, so yeah, overall I think I'll do it again, 100%. It's homemade. No, I, I saw some of Pork skin get like gluten in it, wheat and stuff like that. So these are like 100% homemade. Uh, so yeah, overall amazing. I really recommend you to try it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. If you have any tips, again, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me, oh uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite low carb snack. I would love to know. I'm always looking for new ideas. So let me know. Uh, but this, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.